The Caproni CA.60 Transerio, often referred to as the Novi Plano, Nine Wing, was the prototype of a large Nine Wing flying boat intended to become a 100 passenger transatlantic airliner. It featured eight engines and three sets of triple wings. Only one example of this aircraft, designed by Italian aviation pioneer Gianni Caproni, was built by the Caproni Company in 1917. Caproni began following his dream, designing a huge and ambitious seaplane for passengers. The idea was considered, at the time, quite eccentric. Caproni thought, however, that such an aircraft could enable travel to remote areas more quickly than land or water transport. To minimize the damage caused by possible accidents, Caproni equipped the aircraft with engines sufficient to allow it to continue flying even in the event of failure of one or more of them. The configuration of the seaplane ensured the ability to perform emergency landings on water. It wanted to improve the comfort of passengers by increasing the cruising altitude. The Transerio was a large flying boat, whose main hull, which contained the cabin, hung below three sets of wings in tandem. Each of three wings was obtained by the direct reuse of wings the triplane bomber Caproni CA.4. With a capacity of up to 100 passengers, it was powered by eight 400 horsepower Liberty L12 engines. In the forward engine group, these were pulling, while in the aft engine group, they were pushing. It had nine wings with a wingspan of almost 30 meters. The aircraft was basically three triplanes attached to one another with a fuselage and two pontoons to provide stability. It was over 9 meters in height and weighed 15,000 kilograms. It was estimated to have a maximum speed of 87 miles per hour and a cruising speed of 68 miles per hour. Wings had a positive dihedral angle, which contributed to stabilizing the aircraft on the roll axis. The construction of CA.60 began in the second half of 1919. The first flight was March 2, 1921, on Lake Maggiore, Caproni decided to ballast the bow, the aircraft reached a speed of 80 km per hour. During the short flight it proved stable and maneuverable. The second flight took place on March 4. The pilot Federico Semprini accelerated the aircraft to 100 or 110 km per hour. Suddenly the Transerio took off and started climbing in a sharp nose-up attitude. The pilot reduced the throttle, but then the aircraft's tail started falling and the aircraft lost altitude, out of control. The tail soon hit the water and was rapidly followed by the nose of the aircraft, which slammed into the surface, breaking the forepart of the hull. The pilot and the flight engineers escaped the wreck unscathed. Caproni, he later commented, so the fruit of years of work, an aircraft that was to form the basis of future aviation, all is lost in a moment. But one must not be shocked if one wants to progress. The path of progress is strewn with suffering. The CA.60 was further damaged when the wreck was towed to shore and, in spite of Caproni's intention to rebuild the aircraft, the project was soon abandoned because of its excessive cost. The few surviving parts are on display at the Gianni Caproni Museum of Aeronautics and at the Volandia Aviation Museum in Italy.